Hello everybody, Grace Stillblazer, we're back with more Total Tag Simulator. We're doing some of the campaign here. I'm going to mix in a couple of suggested battles as well, but you guys seem to really enjoy the campaign. The campaign is really neat. Some people were saying like, you know, what is the point of games like this? You're just kind of like watching guys fight. Well, in this instance, we have a challenge and a difficulty level here that's pretty good. Um, like you could probably do, you could probably do a bunch of different setups in order to find out what's going to work best for what we're dealing with. And that's kind of what I like. So we're going to be doing a little bit of that. Let's go back over here. We're going to need some, uh, some of those bunker busters. Now, the bunkers are kind of located in the middle. So I think last time I had my, I had my Sturm Tigers a little bit too far apart. I almost want an extra Sturm Tiger. Uh, let's put another one like right about there. We'll put five up here. I feel like, I feel like we definitely need several of these. We also need a lot of AA. Um, I like the AA truck because at least it moves around the battlefield. The only problem is it costs 50 more. These are the exact same guns or no? They are not the exact same guns. We have a RPM of uh, 300 and a damage of 5. And then on the truck, it's 302. So the AA machine guns are actually cost less and do a little bit more damage. So I think what I'll do is we will... Let's see. Let's put down... I want to keep them nice and spaced. You can see this chews through your money quick, man. I'll tell you what. We'll put down that many. <laughs> that number, six. I guess the number is six. And then on top of that, artillery is way going to be useful. Man, I want to use heavy artillery, but we can't. Well, it's super expensive, too. So I guess there is that. Now, the artillery has a massive range. So let's use that to our advantage. We'll put these way out here, I think I'm going to do, uh, well, yeah, I guess we'll do this many. That leaves us with 12 light tanks that we can have, and light tanks are pretty much going to be what we're using here. I'm going to put a couple at the front here to absorb some of the blows from the, uh, the bunkers and such, and then we'll put some offset, like, back here. In fact, I may even move these closer up. Let's offset them right about here because I don't think a bomb will take these out too quick now the other thing that we could do is we could eventually get a fighter up here or a fighter in back maybe so we can try and take over some of the airfields I don't know how I feel about that okay let's do that 29 units up against the Soviets can the Germans pull it off it's a hell of a battle boys let's freaking do this all right so here's the Sturm Tigers now they are much more focused now on getting these bunkers down. You can see the Sturm Tigers already absorbing a lot of firepower here. Pushing up, though, they do have a decent ability to absorb all that damage. Right there, we got rockets going off big time, and that was a perfect shot. Three units down right there. Over here, let's catch this rocket. Oh, hold on. This is great. Let's catch this rocket as it comes right into this bunker. Is it going to do the job? Ooh, that was a good hit, baby. And the bunker is smoking and down. Excellent. Now, as we go ahead and traverse through the ground like the gods we are, you can see over here our AA cannons are firing. Uh, a bomb just went down, though, and took one of our artilleries out. But that was a good shot right there from that, art from that AA, and it did an excellent job. Let's see if we can follow this artillery. Let's go ahead and follow it, see where it goes. Where are you shooting at, buddy? We, if we use the, uh, wow, look at the range on this thing. This, it legitimately goes across the entire battlefield and right on the airfield. That is exact, okay, now we're really putting firepower on those airfields. This setup is working pretty good. We've got a couple of Sturm Tiger tanks. Now, the only problem is these Sturm Tiger tanks are down right now. Those ones over there are kind of healing. They can't move, which is a real issue because they can't turn that cannon. Oh, what in the world was that? Something just went down. I think it was a bomber or something. Got a couple of different things happening right now. All the artillery pieces are starting to shoot, I think. Yep, right over here. Look at this. At that bunker. And they are laying down fire big time. And the thing is, if we can stay on the board with artillery and there's no planes in the sky, I think we're going to pull it out here. This one light tank. Look at this champion over here. This guy is pushing up, absorbing all of the artillery firepower, and it's working out fantastically because those artillery pieces could be firing. Okay, now that's bad. I was going to say those artillery pieces could be firing at our artillery pieces, 
But instead, they were firing at the tank. Oh, right over there! I think there's only a couple pieces of artillery left on the Soviet side. This is the closest I've seen it yet. If we can get lucky, this is all about the random number generator or whatever you want to call it, boys. Right over there. Come on, baby. Put that last shot down. How many? I think we have at least two artillery pieces left. What are you guys shooting at? Don't shoot at that one. Shoot at this one. Please. Please hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Come on. Oh, so close. Yes. Oh, did we win it? Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Oh, my God. Holy crap. That is close as hell. Let's look down here at what was left. We had, oh, wow, we had four pieces of artillery left. And we had five, we had five flags left? Really? Where were those at? They weren't, they, you, guys, you guys weren't gonna push up? I know they're pretty fast. Huh, I'm surprised we had that many artillery pieces. I'm really happy about that. Let's go on to the next one, level three. So, level three. I, the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't show you what you're up against. So, like, we're totally at the mercy of the game. So, I think what I'm gonna do is we get 10,500 now. Let's put down two fighters because the game, the, uh, actually let's put this one over here a little bit further. The computer loves using bombers and stuff on us. So we can always expect some airports. So let's put down some of these. And even if there is no airports, the fighters are good because at least they can shoot at the ground. Like if nothing else, do I want some Sturm Tigers? I don't know if we're going to be up against bunkers. I really have no idea. Now I will say for sure, Artillery, big MVP there. Big MVP. In fact, let's put more artillery. Put one there, one there. I want to really spread these out quite a bit. Maybe one, well, let's do like one there and one like right on the edge of the map like that. Get a nice several pieces. Of, oh, we have the Goliath robot mine now that we can make $2,000 though. Oh, God. We're always going to want some AA stuff. I still like my gun trucks because I still like the fact that they can move around. Um, but, no. Oh, you know what? We used, um, did we just use the gun last? We did, didn't we? We didn't use the trucks last time. We used the guns. And that worked out for us. So, you know what? I'm going to use the guns again. We'll use that many. Plus one more. There. Five of them. Um, this one's, I can offset this one a little bit more. All right. Right about there. Uh, let me see how else I want to set this up, and I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, here's what I went with. I went ahead and moved my AA uh, guns up a little bit more. I just put down a huge amount of the uh, medium pan Panzer tanks. I think that they're good for their $300. They should have a decent... I'm hoping that they're going to provide a decent enough core for us to push through whatever we're up against. But again, until I know... All right, so what are we up against? We've got... Yep, see, right over here. Several airports, as always. Oh, wow. Look at this right over here, boys. I think we got some tank destroyers on the field. This is going to be very tough. Now, we at least have some planes up. Oh, those planes ran right into one another. What the hell? Fire, fire, fire. Let's see if we can take over a couple of their airports. That would be fantastic. How's our AA units doing? AA laying down a lot of fire. Okay, good. We've got air supremacy right now. You can see those beautiful blue planes starting to go toward the edge here. We already took, we already took care of one of the airports. All right, things are going exactly how I wanted them to. Perfect. I think we're coming in for another airport snag. This is going to be big if we... Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's working. These two... The, hold on, hold on. I got to get down here for this. Look at these two blades. Look at these two blades. They're making love, but it doesn't matter because I think it still counts as our airport. Yes, it does. It counts as our airport, and now we're starting to send planes up. Now, this is awesome because we're going to be able to backstab all of these units down here. Oh, my God. Our units got absolutely murdered. Our, our medium tanks got completely annihilated. But we have bombers now. We've got fighters. I think we have bombers. Oh, there's one plane left in the sky. We got to take that guy out right there. We just laid down the law. Hold on. Let's go, let's go into first person mode here. Oh, yeah. Look at this, boys. We're coming in hot, baby. And I don't think they have any AA at all, which means that we are going to be going with no issues dropping bombs on these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're putting down firepower big time now. Look at this. I don't know what we're dive bombing here. These are all our friends, aren't they? <laughs> that was weird. Take these guys out, boys. Yeah, our artillery's doing pretty good, too. Look at the artillery. Oh, these guys, hold on. These guys have moved up, and our AA was is actually firing at the tanks. Now, I don't think that the AA is going to do much damage, if, if any, because look here. Oh, they are doing some damage. Not much. But, I mean, it counts, plus they're providing a target 
for these tanks to try and fire at. And I think we pretty much have this in the bag because they don't have any way, any way to deal with our air power. And even if they take down our airfields, I think that we still have the... Oh, look at this. Hold on. Right over here. This is going to be a big bomber. Yeah. That was nice. And we leveled another tank from that alone. And a couple of shots probably from our AA. Can our AA hit from there? I don't think it's close enough. We do, what in the hell happened over here? Look at this plane. This plane landed on its tail. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Oh man, guys, I think, hold on, right over here. This may be the last bomb. Oh, not close enough, man. Not close enough, but the, but the artillery still doing fantastic for us. Oh, artillery is money well spent. Money well spent, and that is a victory. Wow, first try too. All right, I'm starting to get the hang of this, guys, huh? See, Gray can learn a little bit. We have a lot of stuff that was still alive. And the fact that we managed to steal those uh, those airfields is big. So I think, man, I think I'm always going to want, unless, unless the composition of the enemy changes substantially, I'm always going to want some airfields here. So let's, let's do, let's do, we get 7,000 left. So we didn't really get that much more money. Did, did we? Hold on, let me take this out. Yeah, it's like the same amount of money. We get less money. What is this? All right, whatever. Let's do more of the same. We're going to do two of the fighters. And I may, you know what? I may even want to put down some anti-tank cannons. We haven't done a lot. Now, the, the HP on these is crap. That's the only thing. They're 500 bucks. What else, what else can we get for $500? Um, do we get anything cool? Oh, all this stuff is allowed now. Oh, we get heavy artillery now. But I don't know if this early in the game, heavy artillery is going to be good. Let me mess around with my setup real quick, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, this is going to be our setup. Pretty similar. We've got the two fighters in the back. We've got... I, I really want to use some of the heavy artillery. So I've mixed regular artillery in with heavy artillery. I may even want to move this regular artillery back just because of the range that it can fire at. In fact, I think I'm going to do that now that I think about it. Let's go ahead and move the regular artillery like here, maybe. This way, it's it's not right on line with the uh, with the regular artillery. There we go. Okay, there. I like I like that. Well, actually, maybe we'll move this one over a little bit more, right about there. Okay, good. Then we've got a bunch of lights and some medium tanks as well, and then a couple of the uh, AA guns because I don't know how much the AA guns are gonna play into are gonna play into this. So again. Several airfields. Oh, what? Oh, what? oh, 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 good lord. Katusha rocket launchers right in the front. Oh, we leveled them in one shot. What did it? I don't even know what did it. Holy crap, what an air force, though, they're fielding. They're going to have twice as many. Oh, wow, they're going to have twice and a half as many times planes in the air as us. I can only hope that our AA does a good job because if they take over our airfields, it is going to be absolutely dreadful. You can see they're swinging around right now. I think this is going to be a bomb drop, maybe. Or not. Maybe they already dropped that bomb. You can see right there. There we go. Now we're starting to put some firepower down. Where are our planes at? Oh, there we go. We at least have one plane in the sky right now. It is a fighter. Bomb's dropping right there. Oh, no. There goes our artillery yet again. And this guy over here is trying to steal it. He's trying to steal it. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Oh, that's so bad. There's nothing we can do about that if they steal our airport. As a matter of fact, let's see what we've got going on over here. Now, our tanks, it looks like our tank force has really managed to push up here for the most part. Are those mines? Oh, wow. Oh, there are mines everywhere. Like, everywhere. Holy crap. Maybe having tanks was a bad idea. Maybe this is like a, uh, maybe this is like an AA artillery only battle or something. Holy crap. Because if, if your forces move forward, look at this. They just get freaking wrecked by mines. Wrecked by mines. Now, we do have some pieces of artillery that still laying down the firepower. And we have a plane over here that's going to try and take this airfield. Could be very useful. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I think our artillery piece blasted that airfield. Now, what happens... If we have a man on the ground and they don't, it, does it count as our win, I wonder? Like, if they don't have any airfields left? Let's take a look here. This singular tank. Look at this one poor tank over here starting to move up. Oh, this is freaking tense. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. We do have artillery pieces. Oh, no. Okay. 
Oh, yes, it counts. Okay, good. Man, I don't know if you guys ever play uh, uh, Total War Warhammer, but if you don't have any ground units and all you have is air units left, the game forces you to lose. So it's a good thing that it did the same thing there. Oh my god, I can't believe we pulled that out. Holy crap. Okay, so we had almost nothing left. Look at this. We had one tank left and two pieces of artillery. And we did have our, uh, our one airport left, which is nice, and one plane in the air. So we just barely pulled that one out. Sweet, so we're moving on to level five, boys. All right, one of the things that you guys wanted to see, we're jumping back over here real quick into the sandbox mode. You guys wanted to see a bunch of bombers and the uh, the bunkers as well. So what we're gonna have here, we're gonna do a little something. We're gonna have a bunch of bombers and a bunch of these uh, super heavy IS-2s on the Soviet side going up against several bunkers, several pieces of AA guns fixed, several pieces of artillery all fixed. We got light artillery fixed in the back, and I decided to use these German, these German uh, remote controlled. What the hell are they called? Goliath Robot Mines. I was very curious on this, and you guys wanted to see these used as well. So let's go ahead and do this. I want a nice, clear... Let's do... Let's do the mining settlement for this. I want a nice, clear kind of terrain for this so we can really get to watch the different stuff happen. Oh, this is great. What is this crap? Look at this. I'm, our bunker is inside of a house. Come on, man. How is that even possible? And there comes the bomber squadron. This could be very, very bad, but we'll see here in a second. AA is starting to lay down the law big time here. I imagine a lot of bombs are going to be... What are they going for? Oh, very smart. It looks like they're going for the artillery and possibly the AA as well. Yep, right over there. Trying to take out all of our AA units. Look at all that crap go down. And they took out one of our robot mines. Let's follow these robot mines. I've never messed with these. I don't know how useful they are. The tanks are starting to push up to our our bunkers. So we'll see what they can do. The robot mines just took that tree out. God. Oh, did you see that? The robot mines are pushing up. Hold on, look at this. Bam, right there, man. They took that tank down. Or at least they got it to the point where it's going to need repairs. Let's go check out the kind of damage they do right, right, right fast. Now that robot mine got blasted. But over here, where's this guy going? Get that tank right there. Yeah, good job, baby, good job. Do we have any more robot mines wandering around? The robot mines seem to be doing pretty good. A lot of pieces of artillery left. More bombs being dropped. The robot mine silos or hangars don't appear to be getting messed with right now. The biggest issue is going to be those planes. Because the only thing that we have to deal with the planes, well... We do have the robot mines. I guess if they got all the way over there, they could do something about it, but probably not. I was going to say, the only thing that we have to deal with those planes is our artillery to take out the airfield. Oh, wow. Stuff is just blowing up all over the place. We have several robot mines. Look at them creeping. Look at them creeping. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that guy's down there as well. All right, let's go ahead and take the, uh, take the health and armor off and watch the rest of this fight. Over here, look at this squadron. Look at the squadron of Goliath. Bombs rushing in. Bam, bam. Oh, over and over again. Now, the only bad thing is it looks like they'll blow each other up as well. So, if they are if they come in in a stack like that, they end up like one of them takes the whole line out. And you don't get as much damage, I imagine. Still, plenty of those up. Oh, bomb there took out not only our Goliath mine hangar, but also the Goliath mine itself. Now, over here, we still have some. All right, never mind. I was going to say, we still have some artillery pieces. Let's go check this out over here. Artillery is firing. What are they firing at? It looks like there is at least a tank left. Now, once we take this tank out, our artillery will finally be able to fire at these airfields. And I hope that they hit because the artillery is all we have left to deal with these airfields. Unless, unless our, our mines get up this far. And you can see the mines are starting to move. Now, they're so small. And they're pretty fast, so they can cover a lot of ground really fast. Let's go take a look at what's going on here. A lot of airfields. The bunker, the bunkers are completely useless now. And look at this over here. These guys are caught in the debris. They don't know what to do. They can't move past. Planes are still going down. I don't even know what took this plane down. What, are they running into each other in midair? We're not doing any damage, so I don't know what the hell's doing it. Unless they're getting so low that the bunker is dealing some damage. Over here... 
they still have yeah they still have all their airfields and that is a problem yep they still have all their airfields now we do have a oh god oh no 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 don't you drop a bomb on my goliath mines oh soviet victory total soviet domination right there now i'm starting to get a little oh man i was starting to get back get back into the campaign you heard what i said there i said not my goliath mines it was like i'm 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 pandering to the german front too much <laughs> i hope you guys know i love all of you so don't think about that uh it is funny though because you play the campaign enough you start feeling like like that's your team at the moment you know what i mean so right now we're going through the german campaign and i'm like you know i gotta i gotta get them to the goal i gotta get them to the victory but don't you worry we'll do a little bit of the soviet side as well in the campaign now we're on level five again don't know what to expect uh, we have 7,500 bucks, so we have almost nothing. Like, we have very little, uh, to spend at all. So we're gonna have to have less of everything that we had before. What I think we're gonna do is we'll do... Oh, look at this! We can't use our heavy artillery again. That's interesting. Okay, fine. We'll use regular artillery. This setup is working really good for me. Um, and... But I always like to try, like, something new. You know what I mean? Like, something new in our, in our core. So our core is always kind of a couple of these AA machine guns as well as the as the regular artillery or artillery of some type. And what else can we? But the problem is you can't afford very much, man. Look at that. We're down to 1700 bucks. Can't afford nothing. Maybe we'll try a heavy tiger tank. We haven't done a heavy tank. Let's do that. Let's do one heavy tiger tank and we'll do we'll back them up with several light panzers. And we'll see where this gets us. Level 5, man. Don't know what to expect. Very low funds game, though. Oh, God. Oh, there's only one airfield, huh? All right, this could be interesting. Now, what are... Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be tough. They've got tank cannons over here. How are we going to beat these guys? Now, to be fair, we should have pretty good air superiority, especially... Look at us try and fly in here. Oh, we got blasticated. I was going to say, especially if we can get in and take that airfield... We'll be doing real well. Now, a couple of these tanks over here are starting to take fire from artillery pieces. Our tank, our tank battery is completely annihilated. We have no tanks left. They got, they got absolutely wiped out immediately. So we're going to have to think about how we want to deal with that. Possibly anti-tank cannons. Because this is looking like not very many air forces, but a lot of ground forces. Oh boy. Oh, they're starting to push up on our AA units. And that is going to be bad. Because now we're not going to have a way to deal with stuff in the air. We do have a couple... We do have a couple of planes ourselves, obviously. But these amount of tanks here, man, our artillery pieces are either getting caught in the landscape. They're just not doing their job, man. They're just not doing good enough. Now, remember, we're using, we're using regular fighters here, too. So it's possible that bombers are the correct answer. Look at our artillery pieces just missing over and over and over again. They really need to get closer here. Yeah, this is this is bad. When you have this many this many of these big tanks pushing up to this extreme, we are goners. There is no way for us to survive this. Even if we do get some lucky artillery shots, yeah, you can see there it's one shot and our artillery pieces are down. We do have this airport left, but we got a trio of tanks. We got six tanks pushing up on this thing. This is going to go down in a hot minute. And all that's left is what where are you firing at? I was going to say, all that was left was one piece of artillery. Oh, we have another piece of artillery? Oh, but it's being caught by our, uh, look at this. It's being caught by our airfield. Okay, so this is a bad composition. We're going to have to rethink this big time. All right, here's what I decided to go with. We've got light artillery in the back. Our light artillery is all we're allowed here. So, uh, regular artillery in the back. We've got a whole bunch of lights as our core. Light tanks here with one AA truck in the middle. We're only up against one aircraft pad. So I'm hoping maybe this one AA will be able to do it. And I decided to start, you know, we haven't used any tank destroyers yet. So let's go ahead and get the Stoke 3 in here, or however you might say it. Now, we've seen that tank destroyers do really good against tanks. So I'm hoping they're going to be able to blast through the opposition. Blast through all those tanks. Here we go, boys. And we are set right now. Tank destroyers here already starting to fire. Now, you can see the airfield putting up planes going to be an issue unless we can deal with that now we do have a lot of rearward artillery and the tank destroyer is doing very well doing very very well over here this tank destroyer caught behind the mound i don't like that i'm gonna have to think about that mound and probably deploy him over 
Now this over here, look at these lights starting to move up over here. Wow, that artillery, boys. That artillery dough. Freaking laying down the firepower big time. I'm surprised at how many hits these freaking tanks can take over the artillery. Our, our light grouping almost completely destroyed though. You can see our light group is down. We do have one tank destroyer over here and he is, he's like take, luckily he's absorbing the firepower of this side and no one can hit him. So like that's good. But the problem is we're dealing with a lot of aerial superiority here and we don't really have a way to deal with it right now. Now our artillery is laying down good shots. You see right over there, this tank about to go down in just a minute. There we go. That's one tank down. That's pretty good. If they can get this stuff down over here, our one tank destroyer will get to finally begin to move up, which would be nice. Artillery still have a lot of artillery pieces laying down. Looking good. Keep that income in there. Man, maybe a bomber would be good for this. Actually, a bomber would be good. Do they even have a way to deal with bombers? This is... Is this AA guns back here? It is. So, they do have a lot of AA. Actually, they have a lot of AA. Uh, for the most part. Man, they're pushing up again. This is good. This is a tough board. This is going to be a tough board. I don't think that we have any way. Look at that shot right there. Took one of our artillery pieces out from that far away. Holy crap. Um, couple of, a couple of hits are, are getting there. They are getting there. Our last tank destroyer got freaking obliterated as well. That sucks. So our one AA truck did not, did not get us there. Um, it simply didn't do enough. And those guns, every once in a while, man, they're catching our artillery pieces. That's a problem. Oh, oh, we've got a couple of the tanks down. Or repairing at least, so they're not pushing forward. That's kind of nice. That was, man, you think that was a good shot right there. From this distance, how could we miss? Oh, oh man. Oh, we're getting pressured big time. We are getting pressured. This is going to be a tough match. This is going to be one. This is a challenge I like, though. This is going to be one where we're really going to have to use our heads and think of a different composition that could work. Now, we definitely did better this time, I think. And we're not out yet, but, well, now we're probably out. We only have two pieces of artillery functioning, I believe. Uh, and that was way over. So that, that final piece of artillery just got leveled. And I think there's one poor boy over here manning his gun. Let's go watch him here. The last stand. The last stand against the... What were you shooting at? What was that? Whoa. We almost got blasted. Oh, the the freaking... Hold on. We're, we got to put glasses on this guy or something. There we go. That was the last shot. And we are out of the fight with another defeat. But... I think we've got, we're on to something here. The Soviets took that one big time. You can see they still had two of their IS-2s up. Oh, those, those are such bastards to deal with. They're so powerful compared to, like, what we can field. And they got, they got eight total IS-2s? They're allowed? Man! That's insane! Look at how much, we don't have a lot of money to spend either. We're gonna have to think about that. Anyway, guys, hope you guys are enjoying total tank simulator and remember coming up pretty soon is going to be ultimate epic battle simulator hopefully we'll get to have some fun with that till next time folks stay foxy and much love <laughs>